a great rider and scout like Jeremy Brown. We understand the impact of this Junior National Showcase, so I'm going to put you right to work if you don't mind. And let's start with a couple of gifted left-handed pitchers. Drew Graham from Ohio. He's uncommitted, which is interesting. And Coleman Mayfield, Oklahoma State commit. Let's talk about those two. So these are two lefties we've seen since 14U. I mean, Coleman Mayfield was dominant at the 14U WWBA a couple years back, ultimately earned a selection to the Select Festival, up to 90, lefty, loose, long, everything you want. He just check, 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 all the adjectives, breaking ball, change up, strikes, it just goes on. Then Drew Graham, we didn't see him until after the Select Festival. The freshman WWBA down in Florida, he comes out, he continues to make that jump. He was up to 90. We only got to see him for an inning. He got an extra batter to make sure we could fully evaluate him and change up, fastball, breaking ball. We saw his glove. His glove says 95 or die now. He says he used to have one that said 90 or die. He hit that 90. Now he's going for that 95, and I think that's coming in the next year or two. Some homers. I got to talk about homers because there was quite a few. I'm going to rip down a few names, but I'm going to bear down on a couple specifically. Samuel Richardson hit a homer. Merkel Turner, love him. He hit a homer. Henry Allen homer. Nick Cucci homered as well. But let's talk specifically about Richardson and Allen. Yeah, so Samuel Richardson, I mean, you don't see balls go out often, pull side, middle, oppo, and that's what Sam Richardson did first at bat after multiple 100 mile an hour exit velocities in BP. First pitch slider that he sees, he goes the other way. Like, you just don't see that at this age. He ran, I believe, like a 6'6", through 90 something across a diamond. And that's just that type of talent that he is committed to Mizzou already. And then Henry Allen, he's somebody we haven't seen in game quite yet, but his BP was, my God, like, 90 plus every single swing. He is the football type athlete that brings that mentality to the diamond. And it's 93, I believe, across the diamond, a sub 760, and everything off his barrel was an absolute rocket. So I left one home run for last, and that's Andre Madunu, because this is a presence. He homered in a game, and, and my goodness, he's bigger, stronger, seems like taller than everybody else out there. The young man who's committed to Duke goes to IMG, but he's a Jersey guy. I mean, six foot five will do that to you. He fills up that batter's box, but as big and physical as he is, He's such a nice kid and he's humble and he just wants to keep doing better. He ran a 6-5. He threw, what, 98, I think, from the outfield and he's still just scratching the surface, which is scary to think about. Uh, a couple of pitchers I want to talk to you about on the right side. Landon Victoria's an, an uncommitted. He's one of the top players in mm -hmm. the country, Louisiana native. And then, interestingly enough, Conrad Kaysen, who also is an elite athlete yeah. and a shortstop, but these are two right-handed pitchers right. that caught your eye. Yeah, Landon Victorian, I believe he's ranked number 12th in the country. And with his performance, I could see that going up even more, up to 93. But you talk to him in the dugout, even he goes, you know, I throw hard, but I can also pitch. And he showed that. He'd go work backwards. He'd go breaking ball, change up fastball. Where somebody throwing low 90s in this type of setting, you would think he's going to attack with the heat. But he showed us another element of his game where Conrad Kaysen, primary shortstop, but it was electric on the mound. I mean, he was spinning sliders in the upper 70s. I believe it was up to 93 on the mound, and that arm just works through the backside. So I saw him last summer. The command wasn't there. He turned it on here, and that 93 was really playing through the zone. He's one I'm excited to see as he continues to develop on the mound. Does he pitch or play in the infield? If I had to pick now, I say pitch just because Ooh. I love seeing electricity on the mound. Hey, another guy we've gotten used to seeing, Georgia Tech commit, two-time select festival mm -hmm. athlete, Ethan Murray. He's another one of those humble kids that you talk to him, and he's like, how'd I run? I go, how do you think you ran? He goes, oh, I did all right. And it's like, Ethan, you ran a 6'8", you're 6'3", and you know we're near physically mature. I think you did all right. And I know he hit, I believe, 88 with, that, with his exit velo. He goes, man, I need 90. And I'm like, you're OK. You put balls out during BP. You made one of the nicest plays during the infield drills with that backhand. And he, walking out yesterday, he goes, hey, do you see that play? I go, you know everyone saw that play. But yeah, we saw it, and we know what you can do, and you continue to get better. It's incredible to see some of these young men, and then some that are looking to grab even more attention. Mm -hmm. Chan Brown's the head coach at Parkview, right. but we're talking about Cade Brown, Absolutely. third baseman, and, and he's one that's like, I'm, I'm looking for a place to play right now, and how'd he do? He did excellent during his round of BP. I mean, you know he grew up around the game just watching that swing, how fast his hands are. In the development he's made from 14 U till now, he's a lot more physical, created a ton of separation in a swing, and I think on all 10 swings we had track man running. He was exit velocities 90 or better on every single swing. So that just speaks to his ability to barrel the baseball consistently, drive the baseball, and just repeat a swing, which is always a good thing to see in a young athlete. I'm going to throw some catchers in the middle of all this because Burke Mavius, who's out of Vegas, mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to call his dad's games right. in the big leagues, and Ariston Vesey, who throws hard, a Georgia mm -hmm. commit, home plate Chili Dogs, his team. Two catchers, go. Burke's a 2020-14 U Select Festival. You know, it was a chaotic year there. I didn't really get to know him, but I got to hang out with him in the dugout, and he is such a cool kid. 
he came out and had an awesome event. It was barrel, 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 barrel. Every time he stepped into the box, BP, switch hitter, like everything you want. You know why Kirk Sarlos already has him committed. And behind the plate, framing, pitching, receiving, everything you wanted, he was doing. And Arison VC, I mean, man, that's an arm. 87 from behind the plate. I think he was up to 90, 91 on the mound. Early UGA commit when he was 14. And that's one I'm excited to see. Where does he end up in the future? Is it behind the plate where he can receive and catch and throw with the best of them? Or does he end up on the mound where he can spin a breaking ball and blow the fastball by hitters? You're allowed to weigh in. Which one do you like right now? Give me a coin and I'll flip it. And that'll oh, give us our answer. That's not weighing in. <laughs> give me behind the plate. Thank you for your insights, my friend. Appreciate you having me.